Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my gosh. It's my first TJ Maxx video since they are open again and I am so excited <laughs> to show you guys what my store had. So here in Iowa, we have started opening some of our stores and TJ Maxx and Marshalls included have opened up this week and I did go ahead and check it out to see what it was like so I could show you guys what they have. I know not everyone's store is open yet. I feel like I think they're opening the states and starting to kind of do phase one of seeing how things go. Um, with the ones that have less cases since I'm in Iowa we have a lot less population and we have a lot less COVID cases here so we've definitely started kind of opening things up little by little some restaurants have started opening hair salons I think the bars are opening soon and so on so I am sorry if your stores are not open yet but I still wanted to do this video I know a lot of you guys still wanted to see it so that you can kind of get to like your shopping fix my stores will be operating only at 50% capacity capacity so there is going to be a line outside they have little x's where everyone can stand so that you're enough distance between people if you are waiting outside and then they wait for someone to go out so the next person can go in and that's kind of how it's going i do want to make this intro it's going to be a little bit long just to tell you guys what it's like if you go shopping there i would recommend either getting there early before they open so you could get a spot or else maybe going mid-afternoon or maybe it right before close um, they have limited hours as well they are trying to keep things clean they've sanitized the carts they give you a cart that's been cleaned and so on if you guys are shopping that way and they do recommend wearing masks so I don't think they're enforcing it here I wish they would because actually a lot of people weren't wearing them in my store which was kind of annoying but I did wear one that's why I'm doing a voiceover so I don't know how I like the voiceover I might try to talk through my mask next time I'll just have to talk a bit louder while I was there it was still a bit crowded in the makeup area since it's not super spaced apart and people people are still opening stuff there's just some people that really do not care so I guess you'll have that anyways um I want to show you guys what my store had it's not anything like new and exciting like my usual videos they've kind of just continued as to when they close they kind of left it off at that and I didn't find so much makeup clearance like the whole store was clearance pretty much except there wasn't a lot of makeup just some but I'm thinking they'll probably start doing more markdowns here but I feel like they maybe just didn't have time before they open to get that stuff done so I don't think you have to rush out to your stores right away when they open you could probably wait two or three weeks before they actually start getting new stuff in I'll probably check it out and see what they have next week as well and just see if they're getting anything new because I don't want these videos to be like really boring and repetitive I'm just showing the same thing it's gonna be different for everyone um, things probably will be this way for a while so anyways enough with the intro I just wanted to get that out of the way tell you guys what it is like and give a little intro since we haven't been to TJ Maxx in like what two months now even more so let's go ahead and get to shopping so this is how the store looks as you can see there is clearance pretty much everywhere everything was marked down a little bit these are all like the red tags on the clothes pretty much everything was marked down except some makeup wasn't so I wanted to show you guys that they had Easter stuff 75% off which I found to be the best deal they had but the deals aren't like crazy run out you know they're okay but um they do have these little arrows to show you guys where to walk so no one's running into each other stuff like that but that's kind of how the stores are looking let's go over to the makeup clearance we found the cali kiss smashbox little palette this is a blush palette and it was marked down for only ten dollars I thought that was a pretty good deal one of the best clearance finds and then here is more clearance. I wanted to show you guys just a little overview of what they had. It wasn't really a lot. Just kind of this typical stuff we find. Nothing too exciting. And nothing was marked down like majorly, majorly. Here's some like Too Faced stuff that was marked down to $8. The Jelly Highlight and the Do You Translucent Powders. But yeah, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the clearance so far. They might be do, do, doing some markdowns later. They have these Laura Mercier lipsticks for $8 as well. These Too Faced Do You foundations for 7 And then this Becca Ultimate Coverage. This one was $8. And then they also had this Makeup Revolution little palette that was on clearance for $3. As you can see, it was literally only a dollar off. And this Pixie palette, this one is on clearance for $8 as well. This one was actually a pretty good deal. They had these NARS blushes. This one was in Impassioned. It was on clearance for only $5. I'm not sure why these were marked down more, but I thought that was pretty good.
I had this little Becca trio marked down with these little minis for $8. I wasn't sure if it was marked down because it was like opened. You never know with these things, honestly. I feel like the best deals for clearance is skincare. They had this Dr. Brandt resurfacing foam for $12, as well as this Alginus exfoliator that was only $5. So I feel like the skincare always has the best deals in the hair stuff. Also, this Becca Bring Me Love set, that was $12 for two full-size lipsticks and two lip liners. That's pretty good. The Southern Belle from dry bars the conditioner that was eight dollars for that this one smells so good by the way they also had a jackpot of shiseido cotton pads these were six dollars for the big pack and then the small one that one was uh three dollars these are amazing and then I wanted to show you guys just a couple hair things. The Joyco Color Balance Shampoo. This one was marked down to $12 for the liter size. And then this was a really good deal, this Dry Bar Set. This was on clearance for $35, and I think it's usually $99 here. So this is amazing. And it does have the full-size blow dryer. And then three little mini products and a round brush and rollers. Amazing. This is just a little overview of some more clearance, just random lip products in this little bin. And and then they finally marked down this Sephora Pro Palette. This one is $5.50 for these little cream products. Okay, so now I want to show you guys the rest of the makeup. This is kind of an overview of what my store has, and I've talked about these things in the past. They didn't really have much new. Um, I did notice this. This was one of the newer things I haven't found yet, the Stila Lingerie Souffle Foundation. This is in the jar packaging. It was $12.99 for that, and they had a couple different colors. So that was exciting to see because I haven't found that yet on my channel. Also, they had this Highest Round Little Glitter Set for $12.99, part of their holiday collection, and this little I Spy set, another glitter set from them, which is also $12.99. We have some Becca stuff here, the Becca, Chloe, and Malika glow letters. These are only $4.99, which is a great price. I still haven't found the, the blush palette here yet. They also have here from Smashbox, this is the little contour palette for $24.99. We've seen this before. I feel like it should go on clearance soon because <laughs> we've seen it a lot. Also, we have some uh, Becca Skin Love Blur Primer. I do have this one, and I really like it. It's $9.99. It's a great price for this, and it's fairly new as well. And then we have the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder in Golden Beige, I believe, for $9.99. They also have the Ultimate Lipstick Love. They only have like red shades right now. This is for $5.99. I'm curious to see if they'll bring more in. I also found one Alyssa Edwards Anastasia palette. This one was going for $19.99. And I'm glad it's still in like the case and everything. And then I also found this Lancome Monsieur Big Marker. It's a little liquid eyeliner. That was $12.99 for this. Okay, I also found the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Eyeshadow Palette, which we've seen. We still had some left. This is going for $12.99. These shadows are really cool. They're like cushiony, really fun. And they also have this Cover FX Rose Gold a little highlight palette for $9.99, which you have three highlights in there. It's a pretty good deal. We also have so many of these Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple Palettes. Oh my goodness, these are $14.99. Hopefully they go on clearance soon because otherwise they're probably going to be here forever. We also have this pretty vulgar little ink gel liner. They had a couple things there. This is $11.99. I hope they do bring in more stuff because I've seen it on clearance quite often. Also the Cover FX Little Mini Illuminating Setting Powder. They just had a few of these. I think they are all the same shade. Uh, this was going for $5.99. And this is the little small size. They had a, a few Kevin Aquan things. This Glass Glow Lip Oil. This is in Spectrum, Spectrum Bronze. This is for $5.99. I saw these like right before they closed, so they haven't left yet. The Neo Bronzer. This is in Sundown Deep. This is going for $7.99, which is probably the best deal. I really think that's a great price for that. And they also had this Glow Face Illuminator. This one was going for, let's see... $12.99 for the liquid highlight. They also had my favorite Bare Minerals lipstick, the Bare Pro in Spice for $5.99. I've only seen this shade so far. And they also had these BH Cosmetics liquid foundations. This is in medium rose. And I actually, I don't think I've found these before. They are going for $4.99. 
and they had a couple of them. So I wanted to show you guys. They had two different packagings, but the same product. They had this Milani Instant Touch-Up Blur Stick, which was kind of fun. This was only $2.99, and I'm wondering if it's kind of like the Milk Makeup one. It seems like it. And then they still have these Anastasia Lip Sets, which literally these all look like the same color. This is going for $14.99. And then they also had this Clinique Bronzer. This is in Sunkissed. This one is a full size. It is going for $9.99 for that bronzer. And they still have a bunch of these Too Faced Watermelon palettes. I did a look with this one in the past. It is $19.99 right now. And then they also had this Becca Put a Glow on It kit with a little mini highlight and two mini primers. This is for $12.99 as well as their Becca, this palette. I can't remember the name of. It's $22.99 but I did do a look with this one and it's actually really pretty. They had this Lorac uh, Lip Gloss in Brunch Queen. I found this at Ross, but I don't think I've seen it at TJ Maxx yet. They are only $7.99 for this lip gloss. I also found these little press-on nails from Ardell. These were $5.99 for this pair. So pretty. I feel like I should show these since press-ons are so popular right now. And then this one was $4.99. And then I wanted to show you guys some lashes. We had some Ardell Wispies. Usually all their lashes are $3.99. They also have these Kala 3D Mink ones. And then these are, I think, new from the Creme Shop. And I wanted to show you guys these. They're the Charmer lashes. And then I found this Pixie Glotion Day Dew, which is like an illuminating primer or moisturizer. This one was $5.99. And then they still have these CoverFX Glitter Drops. This one was in the shade Mirage for $8.99, full size. And I found a Too Faced Pineapple Glow Mask for $10.99. I think they did lower the price on that one. And then they have a whole row of sunscreens getting ready for summertime. So I just wanted to show you guys that if you are in need. Um, these are the Smashbox Crystallized Primer Waters. So they do have scents and they have a glow. These ones are $17.99. This is the lavender one. I found these like right before Marshall's closed. And they also had the Jasmine Rose. So I'm surprised no one had picked those up yet. Next, I found this Becca Shimmering Skin, Skin Perfector in Lilac Geode. That one was $9.99. So, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. That's pretty much everything I found. I just went one day last week to check it out. It was a little bit overwhelming. Hopefully, um, things will be smooth and they won't have so much lines right away. I think everyone's just trying to see what the deals are. But I didn't really think the deals were that good. Like, yeah, everything's marked down. But it's like maybe five bucks here two to three dollars there i didn't think it was like major major clearance so i didn't think it was worth waiting in line for but um i do want to say i really wish that they would have someone just monitoring the beauty section at all times i know it's probably a lot to ask but i just i wish someone could be watching people and make sure they're not opening things you know that would be my one suggestion just to keep things sanitary because i feel like that area is the least clean out of everything so i just wanted to suggest that but other than that that's kind of what we found this week it's like an overview of everything that my store has and maybe that your stores will have once they open up but hopefully they do bring in some new things we will have to see but thanks so much for watching i cannot wait to be doing these again every sunday so you guys will have to check back for more but i'm going to end the video here thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye guys <laughs>